Dave, it's me, Lenny! Who's Lenny? It's me, Lenny! I've worked beside you for the past four years! Every time I walk from the bathroom to my desk, I just stop and stare at you. Uh, uh, you're the only reason I still come to work! I mean, after work, I just, I just follow you around and I watch your daily activities. From eating, to hanging out with friends, to making love. I, I watch you do everything! You had to have seen me! Dude, what? That is unbelievably creepy. I don't even know who you are. Oh, Dave, why would you say that? That hurts. Oh, oh, I've got myself quite in the predicament here. Oh, oh, Dave, you gotta help me. Yeah, no, I can see that. Look, why are you in my apartment and why should I not call the cops right now? I, I can explain, Dave. I just came here to watch you sleep, that's all. That is extremely creepy, dude. Are you serious? Oh, this wouldn't have happened if you didn't position your couch this way, you know. Oh. How could you possibly be blaming me for this? You've been stalking me for God knows how long. Four years. Lenny, you aren't helping your case. You have committed some really serious crimes. What exactly is your point here, Dave? I'm stuck. This apartment is a danger to those who travel amongst the underbellies of your furniture. I mean, I'm not joking here. There needs to be some serious changes to your living room if you expect this relationship to continue any further. What kind of logic is that? You broke the law. And what relationship? Listen, I don't think it's unreasonable to assume there is a man under your couch at all times. Now, would you stop yanking my chain every which way and help me out here? Like, the least you could do is give me a glass of water. My throat is parched. Maybe some saltines, too. Something like, actually, do you think you could whip something up there real quick, something I could chow down on? The fuck is going on? Liddy, you're not understanding this. You're not a guest. Okay, you're a criminal. You broke into my apartment. Oh, Dave, you don't really think that of me, do you? Yeah, okay. All right, I'm calling the cops. Hey, uh, yeah, so there's a guy who has admitted to breaking and entering into my apartment for the past three years. It was four! Come on! Never mind. He just corrected me and said it was four years, as if that matters. We'll be on our way, sir. Sit tight. Thanks. Dave, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. I couldn't have gone anywhere in the past 15 seconds. Oh, come on, let's talk about this like men. With a couple of glasses of wine. Oh my god, what? Jesus, is that smoke? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be my famous roasted French linguine that I was cooking up for you. You were cooking something? How fucking long have you been here? Like, one, or two, or three. What, hours? Yeah, something like that. Anyways, I was cooking your dinner for you because I thought you would get home later, but your premature arrival spooked me. So I left the oven and I ran on over to the couch and, well, that's how I got stuck. <laughs> You're gonna learn to love the klutzy me. Oh my God. Oh my god, you left the oven on. Oh my god, okay, yeah, those are flames. Those are flames. Dave, don't leave me! I want so much blood from you of us! And now you're just gonna abandon me while I'm on work. The police are on their way, they took care of the fire. <laughs> Dave, let's run away, let's skip town, we'll start over. We'll find another apartment like this. We can find two jobs. Please, we'll make it work. Lenny, this is my apartment, and because of it, it's burning down. I'm not gonna run away with you. You're getting arrested. You're just gonna leave me here. Yeah, good luck. Damn, no! Come on! Damn it! If only you had positioned your couch in any other way. Well, this is all your fault. Oh, you never deserve me anyway, you ungrateful piece of shit. <laughs>